This is the equation of cellular respiration. The purpose of cellular respiration is to produce energy. The body cannot function without it. The first stage in the process of cellular respiration is glycolysis. Glyco means glucose and lysis means to break down. Glycolysis is the anaerobic, which means it doesn't require oxygen, process where one molecule of glucose is broken into two molecules of pyruvate. Two NADs, which are hydrogen acceptors or coenzymes, are reduced at the same time and a phosphate group is added to each pyruvate. This occurs in the cytoplasm and requires two ATP to begin and creates four ATP giving a 2 ATP net for this process. The second stage is the link reaction. The two pyruvates enter the mitochondrial matrix for this stage. Here, enzymes remove hydrogen, which is called dehydrogenation and remove carbon dioxide, which is called decarboxylation. The hydrogen removed is accepted by NAD+, and is reduced to form NADH. The link reaction results in the formation of an acetyl group, which is acetyl-CoA. This stage is aerobic and will occur twice, as there were two pyruvates. So two carbon molecules, two NADH, which is waste, and two acetyl-CoA, Go on to the next stage, which is the Krebs cycle. This occurs in the mitochondrial matrix as well. The two carbon acetyl portion of the acetyl CoA is transferred to a four carbon molecule, producing a six carbon compound. Carbon dioxide is then released from the 6 carbon molecule forming a 5 carbon compound. Hydrogen is removed and transferred to NAD plus to form NADH. Next a second oxidation and decarboxylation occurs. Again NADH and carbon dioxide are produced. Also a molecule of ATP is produced. As a result of these reactions a four carbon molecule is further oxidized and hydrogens that are removed are used to form NADH and FADH2. For each glucose molecule, the Krebs cycle must complete two circuits. The final stage of cellular respiration is the electron transport chain. This is an aerobic stage and occurs in the mitochondrial membrane. The purpose of the electron transport chain is to pass the hot hydrogen electrons along from one to the next. The electrons are cooling and the energy produced is used to move the protons along the transport chain against the concentration gradient. As the electrons are passed from higher to low energy levels, energy is released. This is repeated and the electrons are finally accepted by oxygen at the lowest energy level which produces water. The hydrogen ions left in the inner membrane space make their way down the concentration gradient by diffusing through the membrane with the help of ATP synthase. The energy lost by the hydrogen ions going down the ATP synthase is used to create ATP as ADP molecules clash with the energy that is given off. If all four stages are completed, it is known as aerobic respiration. And now if we have a count up, we can see that 10 NADH were produced and two FADH2 were produced. 
each NADH produces three ATPs, so that makes a total of 30 ATPs. Each FADH2 produces two ATPs, so that makes four. And also, four ATPs were produced during glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. <laughs>